Hello, I'm Craig McAndrew from C-SPAN's Education Department, and today we're going to go ahead and walk you through uploading your documentary and uploading your entry form once you've completed your video and you're ready for the judges at C-SPAN to judge you in this year's Student Cam competition. The first thing we're going to do is go to studentcam.org, and the area we're looking for today is the two buttons up here on the top right, uh, left hand corner, I should say, top, top left hand corner, the orange button. So you've got the complete your entry form and upload your video uh, buttons. First, let's go ahead and upload our video. It takes us to the upload video page. We're going to go ahead and put in our name and email address. and the title of our documentary. I'm just going to title mine Energy. You can, of course, be a lot more creative than that. Let's go ahead and click on Browse. And you're going to locate the place where your file is saved. Mine is saved on the desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and select that file. And then you'll now see a counter which tells you the progress of your file as it's being uploaded to the uh, video host that hosts our videos. You can see it's at 60%, 70% all the way to 100%, and this was a relatively small file, about 17 megabytes. I imagine that most files are going to be a slightly larger than that, so it might take a little bit longer. And once you've done that, click on Submit, and we then see a thank you for your upload page. You'll also be sent a link, so you'll be able to actually view your uh, documentary once it's uploaded. And you'll also see that now that you've uh, successfully uploaded your documentary, you must also complete the entry form, which is the second part for your video to be eligible in this year's Student Cam competition. So let's go ahead and uh, complete our entry form. You can do it by clicking there, or you can also click on this link here, complete your entry form. Pretty self-explanatory. We're going to go ahead and uh, enter in the name uh, of the person who created the documentary. There's also room to put in information about the two teammates. Remember that uh, up to three people can submit an entry. You can do it individually, of course, or in uh, teams of two, but three being the maximum. So a bit of uh, basic background information so that we can contact you uh, should you win in the competition. Uh, some other information also about your documentary, the length of the doc documentary, and uh, how you learned about Student Cam. And then finally, down the, uh, the bottom of the page, one other uh, area that's also important is to list a faculty advisor if applicable. So if a teacher mentioned Student Cam to you, if they helped you with Student Cam anywhere along the lines, certainly go ahead and reference them and uh, add them to your entry form so that they can be eligible for, uh, to win prizes as well. If you place grand prize first or second prize, then they're eligible to win uh, money that will help them uh, purchase electronic equipment for the classroom. Once you've uh, satisfactorily filled all that in, go ahead and click Submit, and you're now successfully entered into this year's 2010 Student Cam competition.